Hello, and welcome to Big John's Thoughts on the Market for January 2016. 2015 was a little bit of a rough year for the Calgary real estate market as a complete reflection of the softening economic conditions in Alberta, lower prices of oil, a little bit of a shaky jobs market, and we saw that December of 2015 was no different in terms of that slower demand caused by that shaky economic outlook that we do have in Alberta right now. I want to share with you a few of the numbers uh, in terms of absorption rate. That's a number that I'm always talking with you about. Um, what we saw is that the absorption rate in general was 4.9 months worth of supply in the market, with single family homes being at about four months worth of supply. So just over that sort of balanced market range that we're seeing. So again, shifting a little bit into that buyer's market. Uh, attached homes we were seeing at 5.6 months worth of supply in the market. And apartment condominiums, we saw those at almost almost seven and a half months worth of supply in the market. So we saw some significant increases of about a half a month's worth of supply from November to December. Now, typically we will see absorption rates move up a little bit in December, just as a result of the seasonality and, and getting close to the holidays. Now, when we look at the sales to new listing, sales to new listings ratio, uh, again, the higher this number is, the closer it is to one, the better off we are. And we saw that overall, we saw that that number was 0.59 of a sale for every new listing coming in. Single family homes was at 0.67, so that number stayed very stable and has stayed very stable over the last few months. Attached homes is at 0.56 of a sale, and apartment style condominiums, 0.44 of a sale and when you get that number sort of at about six six and a half or better you see sort of very balanced market when you see or a balanced trend what you see is that when it's under 0.5 is that there's continuing softening happening in that marketplace total sales in december were down about 18 percent versus a year ago inventory or new listings coming onto the market were up about 8% and total inventory was up about 28% versus a year ago. And if you remember, you know, the end of uh, 2014 was when we saw the oil prices start to soften. So again, not surprising that we see these numbers a little bit softer in December of 2015. Now prices have come off very little in you know, on an average basis versus a year ago. You know, homes, if you had a single family home in that four or five hundred thousand dollar range, you've seen those prices hold relatively well. Uh, as you move up through the price range, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollar homes or homes over a million dollars, we've seen those prices take a much larger hit in terms of prices. And the homes over a million dollars, we've seen that those sales are actually off by about 50 percent in terms of the number of sales. So again, depending on where you're located, depending on the price point, depending on sort of what kind of property you have, if it's an apartment or a single family home, really will dictate sort of your real estate experience or what's happened with your property over the last year or 14 months or so. But remember, there's always opportunity in every market and probably more opportunities in a market like this for purchasing than, than we've seen in the last little while. We've seen that there's over 40% of the homes out there right now are vacant, so there's some great buying opportunities. We've seen now that some investors are coming back into the market and purchasing properties. First time buyers are coming in because there's good selection and still very low interest rates. We're also seeing that if there's people looking to move up into something more expensive, they're selling their existing home and then taking advantage of some of those uh, higher priced homes that have maybe taken a little bit bigger hit in terms of pricing. And they're also taking advantage of the fact that those prices have come down proportionately a little bit more than their home that say maybe was four or five or six hundred thousand dollars. Want to leave you with a thought. Right now, you know, everyone says what goes up must come down. What goes down will come back up. The people of Alberta are very resilient. I believe that, you know, we are going to see 2016 be a little bit of another tough year, but there are some great opportunities out there. And if you really think about what you're trying to accomplish, you understand what you're trying to accomplish, and you, and you sort of set some real serious real estate goals. We're here. We can help you out with that once we know what it is that you're you're wanting to accomplish with your real estate move. You know, maybe it's buying that first home, investing, maybe retiring. There's a lot of people looking at retiring and moving out of the province now and, and just taking that opportunity uh, to uh, to enjoy the rest of their life in their uh, in their 
dream location from a retirement point of view. So again, I want to wish everyone the best in 2016. Our team is here to help you if you have any real estate questions. Thank you very much and have a great day.